going everyone? Afterburn here, doing another review. Of course! Uh, I want to do something different. Um, I haven't done anything from the UK for a while, or the UK 3, or 2K. Hello everyone, Afterburn here, going to do a review. Um, I'm going to do one on the SWAT version of um, TurtleBot. Uh, it comes with a full package like the Source Shell and Casey Jones, but they're all painted differently. The SWAT crew, these were the very, very popular ones. And they were, lim they were limited, so once you see the shelf, and a week later, all of a sudden they're off. So, if you didn't get it, that sucks. And I didn't get it, because it cost like 40 or 45 bucks, and I didn't have the money. So, we're going to talk about SWAT Bot. That sounded so weird to say. Um, I have the original one at the house, back in Colorado still. I haven't got all my stuff yet. So I haven't found a job, so I hope somebody is hiring, maybe a comic book store, or maybe Nickelodeon could hire me, it would be really nice, but I don't know. So let's talk about this, and I hope you all enjoy the review. Alright, so TurtleBot was created by Baxter Stock Institute to, to uh, destroy the turtles. And the turtles were trying to beat him, but he keep mimicking every move they make with different weapons of their own kind. But they decided to be smart to flip off the weapons. So Leonardo had, you know, the nunchucks, Rafi had the katana, and the robot got so confused, and they defeated him. However, um, in 94, there was a full package. Um, I think this is the one that comes with the Casey Jones, just in on the SWAT team. Like, you know, the same costume, but it's painted differently, just like this one. And it comes with the battle shell, but it's painted black, and it's considered the SWAT car. So right here, as I mentioned before, this is the SWAT turtle bot. And, I mean, I'm pretty sure you have the original turtle bot, but this is the SWAT version. You can see inside the shell. really pain in my butt in a video game but as you may see different colors different print on it all right so the colors are a tad bit different in cover to the other one this one has the, the black shell on the front and the black shell on the back <clears throat> see that the belt I don't know if you can see that there you go no light and this are like navy blue color Darker brown. Look at the symbol for the Foot Clan. See that? Let's see. Okay. Okay. 2004 Marvel Studio. Playing Lines made in China. So let's hope the new turtle toys are actually, you know, good, not like the 2007 toys. I mean, those are cool, those are cute. Never been a big fan of it. I like them like this, or like the original tur turtle toys. So, let's see. But no matter what, I'm still going to buy it no matter what, because it's, you know, I'm a collector and I love my turtles. It's like a bird. Two can say them. Just follow your nose. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Pretty, huh? If you haven't seen the original one before, the shell right here is yellow. Uh, the belt are not like dark bluish color; they're like orange. Uh, the brown part is like really like lighter tan. Actually, let me show you the movements of the here. You go out, in, up, down. Do all this. Move his head. Do his feet. Um. Oh wait. Can you do it? No, maybe not. This doesn't move. I thought it did, but it doesn't. It's right there. Let's move. The claw. As you may see. Multiple move. Uh, like I said with the shell part. Actually opens up. So some movements of the turtle or turtle bot. The stand is very easily, it doesn't fall over or anything like that. This thing just feeds her perfectly. 
can't remember, SWAT bot. I had to get it because, you know, it's, it's limited, it was rare and on a storage at the Turtles, um, I mean, the Toys R Us place, I saw it. And I just looked at it like something looks different. I remember SWAT, the SWAT toys. So, I had to get it. <laughs> Alright, so that's my little um, video on uh, the SWAT turtle bot. Uh, get your hands on these. If you find one that's painted black, like Casey Jones or the um, Battle Shell, and of course there's a Leonardo and Donatello one of the, um, what do you call it, the, the Fighting Gear ones, and the Fighting Gear Raphael, those are SWAT teams, and it comes with a motorcycle, and those comes with a helicopter and a big old mo uh, vehicle. I might be getting it wrong, there's also a, a helicopter, it might be a SWAT, it might be came with this one, and the Battleship might be coming with the Don Tello and Leonardo one, a fighting gear version, um, those are SWATs, and also there's a foot soldier one, built in all weird, and that's a SWAT one too, but for this, this is limited, um, nobody doesn't know about that these are going to be pricey later on in the future once they find out that these are limited, so get your hands on these as fast as you can, add it to your collection, and also take care of yourself and happy hunting everyone. See you later. Alright, I got this email on here that, um, I don't know if this person wanted me to say the person's name, so I'm not going to do it for, you know, just because. Um, question number one was, do I get paid doing this, uh, reviews and all that? And the answer to that, no. I just do it because I like Ninja Turtles, I'm a big fan of Ninja Turtles from day one and forever. And I'm doing this to help out other fans out there who may not know about the toys or knew something that doesn't even exist. So I'm helping out what to look out for, what's the difference, stuff like that. So I'm doing this for free, people. And question, question number two was, do I write a script before I do my reviews? And the answer to that is no. It's all up here. I'm just looking at toys, the only thing I ever write down is if I look at the difference, like, oh, this one's different than this one from this and that, or whatever, or if I remember something when I was a kid and noticed something different, then I could memorize it. But everything you're seeing, everything on my reviews are all out of my head. Just, I just go along with it, there's a lot of screw-ups, a lot of bloopers, I mean, like, trying to say my words right, or I know something I didn't say, so I had to do it, redo it again. So, it's all in the head, and, um, like I said, there's no script, and not getting paid for this. Just give them a dollar, or 50 cents. That's how much this thing is worth. It's not worth seven bucks, ten dollars, or anything like that. It's just the most plastic, cheapest thing you ever have as a turtle toy. And it ain't worth that much money. The old 80s and 90s Burger King McDonald's were something. Should be cost that much, but this should not be worth that seven or twelve dollars or whatever just ask if you want to really want to buy this go to the swamp meat Barry I go to the junkyard Barry you find a whole bunch of them for a quarter go for it swamp meat whatever quarter that's all it is save your money people be care be careful and look out for each other and stay away from stuff like this who wants more money out of cheap plastics plastic stuff it really grinds my gears where time I see stuff like this be careful, people. They're out there, and they want your money.